Greetings, YouTube. Happy Wednesday. We have a unique banner that just came across the screen that uh, I am going to have to figure out how uh, this looks because there is a, uh, a bundle. Venom Volume 4 Champion Bundles. That is a new headline. I also want to say, because I was not going to make a separate video on it, um, I have no idea why for three straight seven-hour periods, Cosmic Combat has popped up. It is the question of the day. How the heck am I supposed to know? Really, seriously, how am I supposed to know that? But yes, I hear you. Uh, the two most uh, passionate feedbacks to my channel today, Cosmic Combat and all of the crazy crashing glitches. I've seen some things that uh, summoners are seeing on their, their screens that would make you feel like you were on the uh, biggest acid trip ever. Okay, so let's uh, look at these bundles, which they are limiting to, to both, starting with the four-star. There is a four-star Venom Volume 4 Crystal. The problem with this is that it is putting this four-star crystal at 20 bucks. YouTube, we live in an era where four stars can not only not get you to Cavalier, they can also not get you to Thronebreaker. You cannot take four stars into Act 6. This is why on an average day like today, like an average Wednesday, uh, you see a four star bundle for 10 bucks. Now, on top of that, we used to expect for 20 bucks that we would see with the four star crystal at least one greater champion boost. Now, would you rather have three champion boosts than one greater champion boost? Probably. But at the same time, it would be nice if we had a couple of the plus 30 percenters given their value. Also for 20 bucks, if you're gonna give it 20 bucks, I think the five star shard count should at least be double what it is. 3,000 five star shards still puts the price of a five star, in this case at over 60 bucks, and that is much higher than retail price. So if you're going to charge 20 bucks, you got to give at least 3,000 five-star shards and ideally a couple of 30% champion boost. This fails all of that. And while it may sound unreasonable to some to give it a failing grade of an F, I believe that is the most accurate grade. Also, given the context, the timing that we're in, we are just a couple weeks now from Friday away from Cyber Weekend, where $20 will get you so much more if you are on a limited budget, and a lot of people are. So skip that. Now, let's move to what will most likely be a much more spirited discussion of value. And this is for $40. We have the Five Star Venom Volume 4 Crystal. Now let's look at the champions in this. You could spend 40 bucks and get a Five Star Wolverine. That's exciting. I'm so glad that Wolverine is in this. You could also get Agent Venom. Somebody that I think is a bit underrated, but I would never take to rank 5. Not even to rank 4. OG Black Panther, who deserves a buff. Black Widow, who I still miss the uh, pre-patch 12.0 version of. Blade is in this. OG Captain America also deserves a buff. Captain Marvel. Um, I am hopeful, though we'll have to check on that. I, if it's Captain Marvel movie, obviously that's going to be a whole lot more exciting than the OG Captain Marvel. Carnage. Underrated, but not Venom. Doc Ock, solid. Ghost Rider, solid. Hawkeye, maybe the most underrated champion in the game, but still deserves a buff. Hulk, OG Hulk, fine. Iron Man deserves a buff. Juggernaut deserves three buffs. Omega Red's in this, that's awesome. Sabretooth's in this, She-Hulk. Silver Surfer, if you want to get yourself a $40 lemon. I just like saying that, because for those of you who are really good with Silver Surfer, it just triggers you, and you prove me wrong on that. And so I say that with sarcasm now. And I say Silver Surfer is a lemon, you have proved me wrong, but I still, you know, it's out of habit. Spider-Gwen, fine. Spider-Man Classic needs needs a buff big time. Uh, Spider-Man Miles Morales also deserves a buff. Thing, OG Thor, who I missed the patch 12-point version of. Venom, and if you missed my video last night, uh, spoiler alert, but I was so excited that Kabam for free, thanks to the Gamma spending, gave me in that five-star featured a Max Sig Crystal because I landed on Venom. It was an awesome, surprising moment. So the good news is Kabam has lowered this price $10 versus what we've seen it in the past. This is 
Normally, $50 for the offer, the same price as, say, the early access bundles that appear one to two times a month. And it also has 1,000 six-star shards, which is what you would come to expect from a $50 bundle. I wish this would mean that they would take the price of the early access bundles down from $50 to $40, but they make so much money off of that that I think that the uh, economics of the game would actually not justify it to their bottom line to decrease it anytime soon, especially a $10 decrease. But uh, yeah, you can buy two of these and you get what they normally throw in for $50, the 1,000 six-star shards, and then the champion boost. What I appreciate about that is that it basically takes the early access bundle price, knocks off 10 bucks, converts the five crystals to one crystal and keeps everything else the same, 1,000 six-star shards and three greater champion boosts, which is exactly what you would get from an early access bundle. I get that you, you normally get five crystals in one of those instead of one, but most of the time, and even the Cavaliers, you'll be lucky to get a five star, but you'll most likely get three stars and four stars out of those five crystals, which is ironic because, of course, you can't bring them into the content that you have to do to become Cavalier in the first place. If this wasn't two weeks from now on Cyber Weekend, I would give this a B. But given the context of how much $40 is to the average summoner, and yes, we are still in a pandemic where a lot of people are out of work or their hours have been cut. I don't feel like I on good conscience can give this as high as a B grade, but I'm still going to say it's above average. And so objectively, I'm going to give it a C plus. If you're new to my channel, if I give anything that's an offer at a C or above, heck, I might even buy it. I'm not going to buy this one, but I would buy it or consider buying it. So a C plus is still a temptation, but you have to ask yourself, is buying a C plus worth uh, saving your money and being patient and converting that C plus into an A plus 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 because your $40 can go toward a much better offer, especially if you can add $10 onto that and buy like a, a Black Panther bundle. Like if you go to the right here and you see the uh, Black Panther's treasure for $50, that's going to be loaded, especially if you're Cavalier or Thronebreaker with so many good items from tier five basic Halos fragments, tier two alpha, six stones, maybe a five or six star nexus, depending on what they decide to do, etc. And so is that a much better value plus the 1,450 units than a five star crystal, some boosts and a thousand six star shards? You better believe it. But Kabam doesn't want you to think about that right now. They want you to live in the moment and give them your wallet, which is also one of the themes of Marvel Casino of Champions. Uh, anyone that says, prof, you talk about casinos, you're encouraging gambling. This is a casino that stays in your pocket. Every time you open the game and you do anything, you are actively participating in the casino experience known as Marvel Casino of Champions. You may not want to look at it like that. You may say to yourself, well, no, I don't because I don't spend any money. That's fine. You're just walking into a casino and not spending any money. But you have to look at this game as it is. It is a casino with the same mechanics and algorithms as a casino uses in a slot machine. I've said that for years and I just keep repeating it because some people don't want to believe it. But that's the reality of the game. That's part of what makes it exciting, but that's also what makes it infuriating when you feel like you get ripped off. All right, there are the grades for today's offers. Good luck to everybody who purchases these. I get why you would, but at the same time, if you're specially strapped for cash this month, save it for a much better, uh, much better value Excuse me, in a couple weeks.